welcome back and welcome to my February wrap up. I read nine books in the month of February which is a lot less than I did in January but I still think is fairly respectable considering the fact that I had a two week period where I didn't read at all. So uh, you'll see in my blog post which will be linked below that I've broken it down again into audiobooks, ebooks and physical books that I read this month. So I only read two actual physical books this month. One of them I literally just finished off now. It was a fab <coughs> excuse me, read uh, and that is The Troublesome Tiger which is the second book in the Tanglewood Animal Park series by Tamsin Murray. This was so much fun. Look out for a review of this on the blog soon. And then the second physical book, well, it was the first physical book I read this month, uh, and that was uh, Dumpling by Julie Murphy. I actually downloaded the audiobook of this one from the library, and so I kind of did a little bit of both, which was quite interesting. Um, I just, I loved this book. I haven't written my review for this yet because I've kind of wanted to distance myself from it a little bit, um, just because I loved it so much. Now, in terms of audio, um, let's go with ebooks. In terms of ebooks, the first ebook I kicked the month off with was My Not So Perfect Life by Sophie Kinsella. I did do a book talk on that, so if you look back to the beginning of February, you'll see my book talk on that one. I absolutely loved that book, and it was just great to be back in the world of Sophie Kinsella again. Uh, another ebook that I read and absolutely loved was the first part of the uh, Brief Encounter. Uh, sorry, the per first part of the Picture House by the Sea series by uh, Holly Hepburn uh, and that was called Brief Encounter at the Picture House by the Sea. I've got a review for that one on my blog so if you're interested have a look and the second part of that one will be, uh, I will be reading as soon as it comes out. I believe I have it on pre-order so it will hit my Kindle as soon as it possibly can. Another ebook that I read was uh, one of the Quick Reads series, and that was Dead Simple, which was a collection of eight short stories by various different crime authors, all bundled together in one of the Quick Reads books. So it was short stories in a Quick Reads book, um, which was great because last year they did the anniversary, which was short stories again in a Quick Reads book. That was 10 of them. And this one was specifically crime related. And I don't read a lot of crime but it was really interesting to have those little short stories so if you're not into crime like your big crime reader but you like to dip in and out of it every now and then like me uh, then this has a little bit of something for everyone a little bit of historical crime a little bit of psychological thriller a little bit of true crime um, and some humor in there as well which I didn't really expect and then the final ebook that I read was the one that got away uh, which was just I didn't really know what to expect with this one. I hadn't read the blurb. I just knew I liked the author. And so I uh, picked it up and um, it was a really enjoyable, really fun read. I could totally relate to the main character and not just because she's exactly the same age as me. Um, I, I found her so relatable. I could see so much of myself in her. Um, and I reviewed that one today. So have a look at my blog post on that one if that sounds like something you might be interested in. Then we've got audiobooks. I actually did a reread or re listen of an audiobook. Um, when my mum was here, we went on a road trip, me and my husband and my mum, and um, they hadn't listened to Yes Please by Amy Poehler, and so I insisted that we put that on in the car. It was really interesting re listening to it. There was so much of it that I'd forgotten, and since listening to it the first time, I've watched all of Parks and Recreation and a lot more Saturday Night Live. So so it was really interesting for me going back, knowing a little bit more about her work and listening to it and then re-listening to it. And there were so many parts that I'd actually forgotten, which is a bit shameful. Um, I think because I listened to it on a commute before. And so just being able to listen to it whilst being driven was quite nice. I also listened to The Hope Family Calendar by Mike Gale. It was, again, one of those authors where it was so great to be back in his world. I love Mike Gale as a writer. I think he's so underrated as a writer. I know, um, you know, we should be supporting female writers, but a male writer that writes in that sort of women's fiction genre, I think can be sort of 
slightly stigmatized as well um, and so I think I might make a video about his books I've got a couple more of his books on my shelf up here um, and so I might pick up another one of those and then do a video about the books that I've read of his and finally, a non-fiction audiobook that I listened to, which was uh, Make Em Laugh, which is by Debbie Reynolds. Having listened to Carrie Fisher audiobooks, I then saw that this one was available for download in my library, downloaded it and listened to that one. This isn't actually her memoirs. She wrote her memoirs a couple of years before writing this one. This is kind of a collection of stories about her encounters and her relationship with sort of other celebrities and it's been really interesting listening to her talk about kind of film films you know her major film that she's known for is singing in the rain and kind of films of that era um i've been um trying to watch more classic films and uh, i've watched a couple of documentaries about more classic films and so that was really interesting to listen to just because of that so those are the books i read in february um i'm quite pleased with the amount that I read. I know a couple of those were shorter, um, but I did tick off a few from my actual February TBR, so that was quite useful. Um, I'm in the middle of about four other books right now. If you want to know what those books are, just look in the blog post below, because I've got my February wrap-up blog post posted today as well. It's a double blog post and a video day today. Not bad. And then tomorrow, check back for my March TBR. Okay, see you then. Bye.